Dale Beaumont and welcome to Get Published TV. This is the only dedicated show on the internet to help authors and aspiring authors to write, publish and market their own best-selling book in eight minutes a day or less except on Fridays, and you'll find out why a little bit later. Well, I'm really excited today because this is the first ever, first ever episode of Get Published TV. Now, you kind of may be wondering, well, what is this show all about? And if this is the first time you've ever seen a video of me, you may be wondering, well, who is Dale Beaumont? Now, what we've actually done is on GetPublishedTV.com, we've actually got a section which is called FAQs, which stands for Frequently Asked Questions. And uh, there, I've actually gone through and answered in video format the common questions that um, people have asked. So uh, I think you should probably go there and, uh, and check that out. That'll give you a bit of a sense of, of who I am, what we're really trying to achieve, and how you can get the most amount of value from this particular program. Now, uh, what I want to do is I really want to get into the first topic area for today because I was thinking about this. I've actually, you know, roughly planned out about a hundred different shows, and uh, there's a lot of information that I've got that I actually want to want to share with you. Um, so I was thinking, what are we going to do for number one? It's got to be something which is really important and really special. Um, so I've gone through and I've picked a topic, and you may not at the beginning really understand why I've chosen in this one but hopefully at the end you, you, you will know exactly why and you'll actually continue with one of the exercises that I'll be recommending that you actually um, do. So here's the thing, when you actually write and publish or market a book, whether you do it yourself um, as what's called a self-published author and I'll talk more about self-publishing a lot in the future or whether you go through a mainstream publisher and I'll be talking about that as well uh, in the future, um, you're going to need to make a number of different decisions along the way. Now if we had to list them all, there's probably well over 40, maybe even 50 different decisions that you are going to have to make. Now if we just look at just uh, this book here, um, decisions that we have to make. We have to go with what's the title, we have to go with what's on the cover, what's not on the cover, what type of colours that we're going to use, what's going to be on the back of the book. We're going to decide what type of paper stock that we're going to use for the front cover. Is it going to be embossed? Is it going to, is it going to um, have um, matte or a gloss finish? Um, what type of stock is it going to be used on the inside? side, the layout, the design, uh, a whole bunch of stuff, what's going to be at the beginning, what's going to be at the end, and that's just about the book. Um, you've got to make a lot of decisions when it comes to the writing process, and then again, you're talking about dozens of other decisions when it comes to promotion and marketing. So therefore, you need to know um, why you're actually publishing the book, and because that will make that will help you to make better decisions when it comes time to making all the, all of those uh, decisions, right? Because at the beginning, when I actually wrote my first book called The World at Your Feet, I didn't actually have, I never got clear with what specifically is my reason for doing this. And therefore, I'm t telling you honestly, I made a number of mistakes. Uh, there was things, if I had my time over again, I would have done very, very differently. Um, however, hindsight is a wonderful thing, but if I had taken the time to do the exercise that I'm suggesting that you do, you would have actually, it would, it would have helped me dramatically, and I know that it's gonna help you too. So let me just get into it right now. It's getting clear on what your reason is. What are you actually going for? Um, why, are you, why are you doing it? And I really want you to kind of think this through on a not just a superficial level, but on a much deeper level. And let me give you a few critical things that I think should be in your, uh, your reason or in your outcome. Um, and what I want to do, I've broken them up into different kind of topic areas, and I'm kind of in a. I want you to imagine a sort of a line, and there's sort of two ends to that line, two ends of, of the spectrum, so to speak. Um, so let me just go through that list now, and this will make much more sense as I continue. So first of all, the thing that you've got to decide fundamentally is: um, Do you want to get a lot of exposure from your book? or do you actually want to make money? Um, now you might say I want to make both and that's that's great, but um, let's just, uh, I'll explain it in a different way because sometimes people say to me, look, I just want to get exposure, Dale. I don't want to make any money, I don't want to make any money, I just want to get lots of exposure for the book. Now when people say that to me, I say, great, then go out, um, pay for all the expenses, print 10,000 copies, and then stand on your street corner in your nearest capital city and give them all out to people for free. 
And normally at that point, they stop me and go, whoa, 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 I can't do that. And I'm like, well, you just told me you don't want to make any money. You just want to help people and get exposure. And they're like, yeah. But then they normally say, well, I need to make some money. And I'm like, great. Well, now we're actually talking because if you actually want to make money, and that's fine, you should make money as an author, but it means you can't give away your book to everyone for free. Why? Because people need to pay for your information, right? So therefore, you're actually going away from this side and more closer towards this side. So you've got to decide how far along that line do you want to be. Right to the point whereby if you want to make solely make money from the book, then not only do you have to spend a lot more time on marketing and promotion, but you can't afford to give your books away for free because there's no money in giving books away for free, right? So you need to actually think differently depending on where along that line that you actually want to be. So think that through, it's an important decision. And actually set some goals. How much money do you make? Some people just say, well, I just wanna cover all of my costs, and that's great. But then what happens after that? You've given out all the books, you've covered your cost, who's gonna actually fund and pay for your next print run? Um, because that's kind of, that, that's gonna cost you, depending on how many books you're printing, more money, so therefore you don't need to make, you need to make enough money, not just to cover the existing print run, but also your future print run as well. So you have to make more profit and then reinvest that profit and continue that whole process, right? So therefore, you've got to decide where you want to be. That's the first fundamental thing you have to think about is how much money do you actually want to make? Do you want to get a lot of exposure or you want to make money? Hmm, okay, think that through. The next one that we'll go through is do you want to actually get your book into bookstores or do you, you don't really care or you're not fussed or maybe your market isn't in bookshops so it's not that important to you? because if you want to get your book into bookshops, you have to make very different decisions. And this is where I see so many people go wrong, is they, um, you know, they don't do their proper research, they haven't actually you know, um, asked a lot of people, not just you know, friends and family, but actually people that have already become successful authors and have sold thousands of copies of their book in bookstores, they've never asked them, so therefore they do it themselves, they come out with this end product, and I'm just going to grab any random book here and they're like, okay, now I want to get this book into the bookstores. And uh, it doesn't really work that way because to have a book that goes into, your, into bookstores, it needs to have a number of critical elements. And I'm going to talk more about that later on in, in uh, future videos. But for starters, the title needs to be grab people off the shelf. It's got to be printed on a, a quality paper stock. It can't be laid out in Word or, or some other type of very basic program. It's got to look professional. It's got to look like all the other books on the shelf, right? So therefore, if you want to actually um, publish, uh, have your book in bookstores, you're actually going to make very different decisions. You're going to print it on different style paper, you're going to spend, have a different attention to detail when it comes to the actual um, design, etc. Um, so that is really important and critical. But if you don't want to have your book in bookstops, then hey, you know what, it's not that important. So I've covered two of the actual things to think about when it comes to your outcome. I've gone a little bit more than eight minutes in this first show, but again, it's really important. I'm actually gonna continue this again tomorrow because I actually wanna talk about one, two, three, four other different kind of scales, and uh, and this will, after this second video, will kind of put the pieces together. So that's part one. Part two is coming tomorrow. Please come back and tune in again, and uh, you'll be able to get the end of today's video.